Juanita Dugan, president of the NFIB, uh, which advocates for small business. Now, Juanita, thank you for coming in. Democrats slamming small business uh, or saying that small business is essentially getting slammed by this economy when only the one percent, the people with a lot of stock are benefiting. What's your response to that? Well, that's simply not true, and thank you for having me. You know, NFIB has been doing the Small Business Economic Trends Report for 45 years, and the data is in. This is the best economy for small business in 50 years, the, and it's been setting records for the last two and a half years. So for the first time in a very long time, small business is actually benefiting from this recovery, and they've been setting records for uh, capital expenditures, for profits for raising wages for their workers. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. I don't know what data they're looking at. And we got to focus on the, the, the personally owned small businesses, people who, who don't really ha make a lot of money because they continue to pour all of their profits back into growing their business. These are not rich fat cats. These are, these are pretty much middle class people living middle class lives, but have the American dream of having their own company. Well, that's exactly right, and you're describing the NFIB member. The average NFIB member has fewer than five employees and about $75,000 of taxable income. So this is the half of the economy that is not reflected in the markets. It's half of GDP, it's half the payroll, and small business is booming. I'm really not sure what data they're looking at yeah. because there's no data that suggests that anything other than that business is booming. And by the way, our research does not show sign of recessions. By the way, fact checking is something you don't often see by the media at these Democrat debates. Have, have you been asked to be on some of the media that, that refused to do any fact checking of, <laughs> of the things that uh, some of these mm -hmm. nominees were saying or some of these candidates were saying? No, I haven't. But you need to understand that NFIB is a nonpartisan organization. We yeah. represent exclusively the small business agenda. So we wouldn't be playing that role. But it's just extraordinary that there's no fact checking when they come out with things like this. Uh, next one, Juanita. Minimum wage increases go into effect today in Minneapolis, New Jersey, Oregon, D.C., California. What's that going to do to small business? Well, again, our economic research uh, has um, shown this over and over again in places where the minimum wage has been increased. It's a very bad idea. You know, we're having the uh, longest recovery in history. As of today, 121 months in recovery. One of the best ways to destroy that is by increasing the minimum wage, either at the federal level or the local level. Just look at what Seattle did a few years ago. They increased their minimum wage to $15. Almost immediately, they lost 5,000 jobs. But most importantly for me, the lower age uh, workers lost 35 million hours of work. So who did that benefit? Almost no one, and it was the lower wage employees that suffered the most. Um, our research has shown this over and over again. Um, minimum wage increases lower GDP. If you did it on a national level, it would be at about a trillion dollars of lower GDP. And you'd have about 700,000 able-bodied workers who right. would leave the workforce. That's the last thing we need in a tight labor market like this. The um, NFIB uh, members are telling me that their single most important business problem is finding qualified workers. So we need more people working, not fewer. And particularly first-timers. I mean, that's who are, are hurt the most. Uh, people who are, for the first time, getting a job, still living with their parents. They don't survive on the minimum wage, but uh, they're the ones whose jobs are likely to be cut. Juanita, great to see you. We've got to move on. Thank you very much. Thank Check you for the having me, David.